Hey guys, welcome to my client portal video where just as I promised, I'm going to show you how to create a client portal for free. This video is for you and you must view it if you do credit repair or anything about credit. If you need to give deliverables or you have a team where you need to collaborate or there's anything that you do that you need to provide to your clients, even if it's an email or a message. Okay. So when you sign up, like I said, using that link down in the description, you're getting, you're going to get to your workspace that looks like this. Okay. Mine obviously already has bases in it, but you're going to go and click on add a base, choose a name, a color, and an icon. What I did for the purposes of this video is I copied my exact portal, um, my client task portal, that is. My clients have a task portal, a client portal for their disputes, and a client tracking portal. So what I did was, like I said, I copied it, I redacted the records, and this is exactly what I have for my clients. So we have the task, whatever it is that you know you actually did that time, uh, the creator, the date created um, that automatically populates task notes, attachments, message center, email address, status, task duration, balance, and URL. You only use what is relevant for that one task, but it's easier to have it all there and to choose as you go than to have to add it in each and every single time and then to copy it over to every single portal. What's great about Airtable is that you can either have one client per base or you can have all your clients in one base like I do. Okay, so let's say that this one is Sally and the next one is Joe. Sally's not gonna see Joe and Joe's not gonna see Sally because all I'm going to do is share this one view and this one view is you know, Sally or Jane or Paul or whatever's um, client portal, as simple as that. So what I did for this video is I created a task. So we have round one completed. So let me click here, I put round one completed to be automatically populated. If you have more than one collaborator, creator, teammate, whatever, you can have multiple people in here, you just choose from it so they know who did what. Um, you can put task notes, you would drop their attachment there, so the round one dispute, or their result, or whatever. And then, you know, hey, look, I uploaded round one. Just let me know if you have any questions. You can put a status, such as your analysis is complete, canceled, whatever, and um, you can change all of that by going and clicking on status dropdown, customize, uh, excuse me, customize field, and then you just add, delete, whatever, okay? So let's say that I want to send this to them. You go and copy their email, you right click on the row that you want to send them, paste in their email address, and now it's going to send them that entire row, including the attachment, all right? So this is absolutely wonderful, and if you are on the pro version, you would have the blocks and you can use SendGrid integration to automatically send this um, to any, you know, you can have your entire client list and you just choose who you wanna send it to and then send it. It's really, really awesome, all right? So that is how to create a client portal for free. Okay, now to get it for free with um, Airtable, they do have a free plan. Now, just remember that there is obviously going to be restrictions such as um, not the bases because they're all unlimited, but records per base, attachments, and revision. All right, so um, I'm currently on the unlimited, excuse me, on the pro plan with um, unlimited 50K, 20 gigs in one year. All right, so I don't have to worry about any of that. But that is how to build it for free, and that's how to get it for free. All right, so if, like I said, you need to send anything to anybody and you provide a service, then this is something that you really need to look into. All right, so one of my videos, um, I did have a couple of comments asking what was the difference between my dispute processor and something such as client dispute manager. So what I did was, and I'll go through this quickly, I created a table that shows the difference. So there's a major, major difference in the pricing, and you can click on the link down in the description to pull this up yourself because I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I will tell you right off the bat that there's only two things, just two, that mine does not do, all right? And that is two-way email and reading a credit report. Besides that, mine does more than theirs, okay? So let's go to the ones that mine does that theirs doesn't. Tasks, projects, video conferencing, screen sharing, 
um, add additional dispute reasons and customize uh, charts, reports, calendar import, Google Hangouts, Time Tracker, Batch Update, Google Translate, Matrix Form, Cabin Grid, Gallery, Gallery, Calendar, and Custom Views, and Filter, and Hidden Views. All right, so you can go directly to this page, click on Let's Get You Started, and um, pay for it on Fiverr, all right? So this is all really, really simple. If you want to save time and money, then look, you can do whatever you want. It's your money. It's their credit or your credit. It's your future. It's whatever, you know, it's whatever's whatever, right? But when I figure out how to do something and I can share that knowledge with you, then that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help, not hurt, right? So if you guys have any questions, simply post them down in the comments. But um, the links to the original dispute processor and to the improved dispute processor are going to be down there. And like I said, mine has everything and more that theirs does. All right. So um, let me know if you have any questions. And if not, I will see you guys next time. I do have an, um, another video immediately following this one. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.